We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's the big one, Game 7 of the World Series. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Danny, everything to play for here as we get ready for Game 7. No doubt. This has really been what you call a World Series for the ages. Back and forth, a lot of well-played games, plenty of drama and intrigue. And now it's all come down to this. One game, nine innings for the World Championship. Can't ask for more than that, so sit back and enjoy. Should be a lot of fun. The build-up to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Orville Cousins will be the Game 7 starter here in the World Series in front of his hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Kyle gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. Gets the ball in hostile territory here for a game seven of the World Series. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of them. At the plate, Bernardo Vila. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. There's one. On to first, and they get them both. Brian, execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Lolich is there and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. No doubt about it. He was looking at fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out, runner in scoring position, but it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, play, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Strikes three cold on the fastball, one gone. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. Straight three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders, side retired. Pure dominance on the mound as he strikes out the side in order. Game seven rolls on. We're back after this. with nobody out. And there he goes towards second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Check out the lead here. That's about as standard as it gets, and it didn't do him a lot of help on that steal attempt either. Could have been a different story if he took another couple feet off the bat. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Fastball. Ball strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. In 
let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Flew out last time up. Hit back toward the mound. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Hey, this team has been shut down offensively up until this point, Dan. But right here, team's first hit at a game in the fifth yeah. inning. Let's see if it sparks an offense. Well, this will be interesting in the low 80s. Nothing in two. All right, big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone for strike two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. so far hitting nearly all of the spot but we'll leave it right there as he strikes out and that ends the inning <laughs> looking to punch him out again the pitch swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down didn't mess around much in that at bat pulled toward right center field no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Boy, every pitcher needs a little bit of help. How about this? This infielder makes a terrific catch on this line drive. Probably saving a run from scoring. Grounded softly to the right. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. One hit, one left. Game seven moves to the seventh inning. And we still have no score. done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. To second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Smoke on the ground up the middle. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. One pitch, two outs. A pitcher's best friend to end the inning. Back with more from the big one. Game seven returns after this. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. The first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Hit out towards second, fielded cleanly, and that's the first down. Good range shown off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Got him! And he goes down on strikes. Have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. It's like magic or something. He's given up a boatload of hits, but they haven't been able to chase a runner home. Yeah, he's got the outs when he's needed them and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. 
pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll reach first safely. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, Dilo. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but not. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. Water is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. The ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Gustavo Rivera. And this is past him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. You have one job in this situation, especially down 0-2. You have to find a way to advance that runner to third and give your teammate a chance to drive something into the outfield. You cannot not come through in this situation. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jared Hara becomes the first out in the ninth inning. Lord, it's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. So next to bat will be Randall Lovato. Here's the first pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Halpern will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. second and just like that the winning run is into second base with a lead off double he went with the slider but the hitter wasn't fooled for a second gets the barrel of the bat through the zone and rips it down the line for a lead off double you can't attempt to bunt a pitch that's out of the zone have to find a way to take that one for a ball looking to get that go ahead run over to third as he gets this one down only played at first, so the sacrifice works that time. Well, when you're trying to move a guy up to third with a bunt, that's exactly how you want to do it. Make the third baseman feel the ball. That way, his only play is to first. That was very well executed. And now, Adrian Salazar. There's a drive high in the air, deep to left center field. And the postseason magic is there for Thank you. 